In this session, we're going to talk about the BCD error, binary coded decimal error. Uh, suppose that we're trying to add two BCD numbers in this sense. Like, uh, okay, suppose you will have a circuit like this, where you have your number. Uh, B for example and your number A for example you add them together these are your uh, BCD uh, numbers and the result should be another BCD number be careful not a binary number this time a, a BCD number but you will also have your carry in and you will also have your carry out as well where necessary in order to uh, I mean uh, design this BCD error we should remember how BCD addition works right and if you uh, go back and review the uh, uh, review our previous sessions you can remember that what we do here is decimal adjust if we achieve any value above 9 here if you have a, a binary addition result larger than 9 here namely from 10 to 15 you need a decimal adjust here you add uh, 6 to that result and then you do the necessary operation that's it for this um, I mean for this purpose we need to go ahead and see what is going on here that's it suppose that you need to have this so you will have your binary sum here but it should be represented as your BCD sum here so let's say that this is your carry out denot denoted with a K and these are your digits two is it one and this is your carry out here in BCD uh, manner and this is your S8, S4, S2, S1 here all right so if you want to realize this here it means that you need to put all the necessary combinations here like, uh, Five, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and all right, okay, and your uh, four would be zero, 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 zero. One, 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 zero, 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 one, one, one. This is what your binary sum, right? And zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. Zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one great but is it enough no you you so uh, in this se sense you you have your binary uh, I mean decimal equivalent here up to fifteen here right the, right this one but in fact when you add two uh, decimal digits here you can have up to 18 right as the decimal number but consider that you also have an input carry here which is your plus one it means that the maximum amount can be 19 here that should also be represented here as well that's the idea so let's represent the remaining ones as well so that it would make sense and the remaining ones are up to 
19 right up to 19 so what you have here will be 16 17 18 and 19 all right now we're done and these are your uh, I mean uh, binary carry out conditions okay binary carry out conditions so both uh, let's just so like this okay separate this part okay what would be their corresponding bcd numbers now this one is pretty straightforward until this one as you see until nine everything goes pretty all right uh, like until nine everything goes pretty all right but after that you need a correction here you need a correction so let's just write them here right here so they should be um, zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 oops one one zero uh did i make a oops one these are Look, I made a mistake here. See, so this one would be correct one, one, one. Okay, one, 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 zero, zero. All right, now it's it's I think going good. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, and zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Zero one zero one. That's it. Okay, nine four nine, and uh, uh, up to okay from zero one two three. These are decimal corresponding numbers here. Five six seven eight and nine. Everything is the same. You see, they're the same here. But after that, so your uh, B C D carry out would be also zero right in this sense your bcd carry out would be all zero but after this then this should be your 10 right and this should be your 11 and how should they be represented here i will write them with different color here they should be represented like this zero 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 one and focusing on these digits right and also your carry out would be the uh, your extra digits will be one in this case okay because uh, what we're adding here is we're adding six to those numbers in order to achieve those results this is called the decimal adjust right that we do for bcd addition we're trying to implement this here in this manner so what you have here again be one and that should be your uh, two, three, and four, and five, right? Because it's your 15. This one is your 15, right? Your 15, 14, 13, 12. And are you finished? No, are we, we're not still finished here. We do this for um, 16 and 17 and oops 18 and finally 19 right so these are all available for you then you have this uh, i mean uh, structure everything would look great and the thing is you need to check for your uh, output carry condition here when when does it 
produce your output carry and you will need a decimal adjust here in in uh, those conditions uh, you generate your output carry which of uh, this one needs a decimal adjust in what conditions i will need a decimal adjust here when your binary uh, addition result produces an output carry this is direct thing okay uh, so in your k condition it's obvious that it is uh, it needs uh, carry out here uh, and what are, what are the other ones that require a decimal adjust the the remaining ones here see these ones let's focus on these ones in what conditions do, do they give you the uh, carry out either it is look at this it is your is that uh, okay like uh, in what conditions does these uh, produce a carry out L let's take a look at this now uh, i will use red again if your z8 and z4 is i'm directly looking up from the truth table like as you see it will also produce uh, carry out you see here great and what else if it is z8 again and z4 condition here is also producing a carry out here right here okay so in this manner we can say that we covered all of the conditions for those carry outs if we design this if we check this these are the conditions that require a decimal adjust okay so in this sense we have a four bit binary adder here it can be implemented uh, as a carry look ahead generator or something that we discussed in our uh, other sessions but it can be a ripple carry adder as well so here you will have your two numbers here uh, and their sum will be uh, evaluated like you will have your addant and augant here as inputs and this is your input carry carry in and your binary adder will produce a result right and it would be z8 z4 z2 and z1 right namely this one this one is your uh, i mean binary adder result and then you will need to do a decimal adjust here by another four bit adder here namely okay this one will go like this let's come here and you need to have here six right zero one one zero to make the decimal adjust and the result should be your desired one s8 s4 s2 and s1 which is your bcd sum that you are looking for great but what should be put here to drive this uh, i mean uh, decimal adjust mechanism is the circuitry that we just discussed here that's it so what you have here would be your carry out here or your z8 and z4 or your z8 and z2 here see that these are your end gates let me write them a bit beautiful okay this one is your end gate and this one is the other end gate and this is your k right 
your carry out here, binary carry out, here, because it's directly giving you this uh, BCB carry out. So in this sense, when you or all of these together right here and this would be your output carry namely your C right this would be your C so if you provide this one uh, this signal here like if you provide here this one like this so these are your okay uh, your grounds okay so it means that if you have a carry you will do this decimal adjust if not you will not have a uh, you will have all zeros here and you will get the direct sum here if there is no carry out this one will operate directly right like this no need for a decimal adjust and direct result would be your result in this sense and when you pack this up this would be your desired PCD adder solution that we're uh, trying to do here right here and if you take a look, uh, as you see this is the structure that we just uh, tried to realize here you see two numbers entering here and this is the binary result and if there is no need for a decimal adjust uh, these will be zero and you will directly get the addition result here but if there is an output carry here that requires a decimal adjust and it will trigger this one as one and the result will be what you're looking for okay this is all about the binary coded decimal adder for two four bit uh, two bcd uh, numbers. Okay, thank you for listening.